What's up guys, Matt here back in Car Mechanic Simulator 2021 and today we are checking out an exciting new mod from Payne. Uh, if you saw the title of the video, you know what we're looking for. So with that being said, let's go see if we can find one. And here we have it. We have Fox Body Mustangs in Car Mechanic Simulator now, thanks to Payne. This is awesome. I, I'm very nostalgic for Fox Body Mustangs. They're, they used to be everywhere when I was, when I was a kid now. You just don't see them very much anymore. But the one we're looking at buying or bidding on is the drag version, which looks freaking awesome. So we we would be able to use this with the uh, the drag racing DLC. But yes, this is the drag version Fox Body Mo Mustang. I love the notchbacks. I think um, the notchbacks are my favorite of the Fox Bodies. Um, those are cool too. You know, you see the hatchback there. But the notchbacks to me were always, I always thought they looked the coolest. My favorite is like the 93 notchback. This one's a little bit older. Let's see what year this one is. Car status. So this would be an 85. Um, I like the 93 the most. But uh, yeah, we're going to make a play on this one. Simply because of the drag version. I really wanted to find the drag version. And, and here we have it. The work that Payne put into this mod is incredible. The interiors, this one's pretty basic because it's the drag version, um, but the interiors on all of them are, are exceptional. Very well done. There's a lot of action going on here. I think we got it for 32,708. Yeah, there was a lot of bidding going on on that one. While we're still at the auction, let's check out uh, another version of the mod. You can see, very well done. The interiors, just spot on. So good. He even modeled in an SVO, which was the factory four-cylinder turbocharged version of the Fox body. Very cool. I love the SVOs. The SVOs are cool. And once again, the interior is fantastic. The car has arrived. Let's send it over and wash it off. It's not too dirty because we actually got it from the, the nicer auction, but we'll go ahead and wash it off and see, see if that changes much. Yeah, it looks a little nicer. Send it to the garage. And here we have it. Another another part of the mod that's uh, in the Fox Body mod is uh, Von Gittin Jr.'s Fun Haver Fox Body. That let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that one done. And get a look at this engine. Supercharged, big old engine in there. Let's get things started by pulling this engine out and uh, get ready to tear it down because we're gonna we're gonna build it all up. Performance parts, of course. Drain our oil. That oil doesn't actually look too bad. Go ahead and pull off the exhaust right here and here, and then we can get to the drive shaft. Spin around and grab the other four. And that is taken care of. We might as well pull the gearbox. I'll start with the starter here. Get that, and it's two little bolts right out. And I think we're definitely gonna have to do with the uh, do the upgraded gearbox for this to be able to, to tune it because I think we're gonna be doing some pretty big numbers as far as horsepower goes. Um, that's the goal at least, that's the plan. I'll go ahead, go ahead and pull the uh, clutch bearing and then the clutch plate, the throwout bearing. There we go. That's what I meant to say. Clutch plate, and then we can take the flywheel out. And I think we are ready to pull this thing out. Before I get too ahead of myself here, I want to be, I want to pull out all the fluids that I can, so we don't make a mess here. I believe that is it. That window windshield washer fluid in here. Is that <laughs> would that even cause an issue? I doubt it. Let's pull this thing out. Pull out. And there we go. We'll bring it over here, put it on the engine stand. Add engine, there it is. Yeah, we didn't do any diagnostics on it because, I mean, come on, we're gonna, we're gonna throw a bunch of performance parts at it. Obviously, let's get this battery out. Where are you? Right there, get that on the charger. On it goes. Now we can get the welder out. The body's really not in that bad of shape, but of course we want to make it as nice as we possibly can. Straightened a few things out. Quarter panels are nice. I want to clear out the engine bay. Let's remove the brakes servo there. We got a fuse box here and all the little relays and fuses here. We'll get those out. That is cleared and we can take the fuse box base out. Coolant reservoir, radiator fan housing, and of course the radiator, power steering reservoir, air filter. Oh, we gotta get the little tabs. There we go, clip A, that's it. Now we can remove the air filter cover, air filter, 
and air filter base. And is that it? It's cleared. Everything's out of the way. I'm actually digging on these wheels like a lot. They look really good with this. Let's strip the body down, get it down to its bare. Well, it's pretty much a tubular chassis on this, which is really cool. But that's that that is modeled in as well. Get the doors. I'm definitely gonna need windshield. The other door. You can go ahead and get that deck lid out. Rear bumper, tail lights. Be exciting to see what a different kind of like upgrades we can put on do body wise. Maybe do a few things here and there. Oh, we can even pull these off. How about that? Really looks like a, a dragster, like a legit dragster. It's a really good mod. Uh, can't forget the gas cat cover. There we go. And we'll go ahead and pull out the interior just to make sure we get everything all nice and neat. It's just so cool sitting in this thing. It's just a seat and a steering wheel looks like. Indeed it is. I wanna add that I have uh, early access to this mod because uh, I support Payne on Patreon the uh, creator of this mod and you can too and get early access to stuff as well. I'll put the link to his Patreon in the description. We'll go ahead and start tearing this engine down. I don't know why I'm starting with that. I guess I probably should have started with the belts in the front and uh, pulling the supercharger off, but why not? Let's just start pulling things off. Get this head cover off. This is one big, big motor. Oh, we got a stuck bolt there. Got it every one of these bolts and i always tend to forget this one and there it goes it's off i don't think i can pull much anything out well i can pull the exhaust manifold off there we go but yeah i can't really pull much anything else off until i start getting all of this stuff off of here the front pulleys and serpentine belt let's see oh we got to get this idler roller out of the way before we start pulling belts off there we go now you're about to watch me pull off a bunch of little idler rollers. From there, we can pull off the water pump pulley. Off it comes, and then that means we can get to the water pump. As soon as we take care of that stuck bolt, there she goes. Harmonic balancer can come off. And we can get to the alternator. Might mind as well. We're just right here. And our power steering pump can come right off. Let's grab the fuel rails. There's one, there's the other. What can we get here? Throttle body can come off. This is all gonna be replaced with high performance versions of what we're taking off. And then that means the uh, supercharger can come off, intake manifold. Uh, we gotta get this side off to get the timing cover off. Now we can get access to the timing cover. Indeed we can, there it goes. Get the bolts out of the way. And we got our timing belts. There's one and two. Now we can get our timing cam gears. Off they come. Now we can tear down the rest of this side of the engine. Get our camshafts out and the engine head. Big long bolts that are associated with that and then we will be able to see how our pistons look and yeah there's some carbon build up on them for sure definitely worth rebuilding this thing on to the other side that head can come off and we can pull our oil filter off why not and uh let's flip the engine over from here we can get to the oil pan no stuck bolts here nice and to the head Rotating assembly, get the rod cap off. All the little rod caps. You know, the inside of this engine is a little worse than I thought it was gonna be. A lot of stuck bolts involved here. Get our crankshaft bearing cap out of the way. We got three of those. There's two. And three, there it is. Now we can pull pistons out. There's one. And you get the idea. And from there we can pull our crankshaft and we are down to just the block. We'll take that and see what we can do. Oh, we've got a fuel filter floating in air. We gotta take care of that. All right, that's the engine torn down. What else do we need to do? Ah, yes, the suspension. 
Tear all that out. I love the drag setup. I just think this is so cool. That's why I wanted to do I wanted to do the drag one really bad. So I'm lucky that I was able to find one pretty quickly. Get this brake caliper off. Brake pads. Brake disc. Front wheel hub. Oh, we got to get the cap off first. Now the hub. Oh, and then the wheel bearing. It's as if I've ne haven't done this in a while. <laughs> oh man, get that nut off of there front axle knuckle cover now we can get our sway bar end link there we go we can get our shock assembly out of the way from there let's get to the outer tie rod here and we got a stuck bolt on that or a stuck nut on that inner tie rod go ahead and get our lower control arm here and the knuckle what else we got? That pretty much takes care of that. On to the other side. And from here, we can grab our front sway bar and our steering rack. And that's pretty much it. We've torn it all the way down to the cross member. Once we get the rubber bushings out, it can come out. These little guys. Let's see if I forget them when I go to put the car back together. It's always a 50-50 it's always a shot, it seems like. And then cross member can come out. Perfect. On to the rear. Get our big old slicks here. These things are huge. And back here, we've just got a simple brake caliper there. Brake pad. Brake disc. Solid axle. Get these two guys that are stuck. Off it comes and out comes the axle. We can get the wheel hub. The knuckle housing there of course our u-bolts one and two and of course we got a stuck bolt and then our plate grab this bushing here then we can take our control arm out rear shock absorber get the spring cap spring and spring mount and that is that side torn down And from here, we can take the axle housing out and might as well, we're back here, grab the fuel pump, fuel tank, the rest of our exhaust system, middle mufflers, catalytic converters are even modeled in. Nice. Although I don't think we'll be having those on when the car is completed. Probably go with all the performance. I wonder if we can do cat delete. We'll find out. Cause that's pretty much everything torn down. Let's get it down on the ground or at least lower. I just love the look of drag cars all torn down like this, getting ready to be rebuilt. That's so cool. Now is a good time to pull apart our shock assemblies. As well as unmount our wheels and tires. I'm gonna go ahead and repair these discs, brake discs. We're not gonna use them, we're gonna use the performance ones, but it's always nice to uh, make a few bucks, go sell those once they've been uh, reground. Now it is time I'm going to repair what I can, replace what I cannot, and then go on a little shopping spree to buy some performance parts. Got all the parts I needed and some uh, performance parts too, but I wanted to show you guys this ridiculous uh, amount of stuff for the, for, for the Mustang, for the Fox body in this mod. Like, look at, I mean, this is just front bumpers. How many? door options with uh, different colored interiors. Um, it's incredible, all the different hoods, lights. There's just so much to this mod, it's insane. Man, that was a good big bonus run there I had. Time to assemble our engine. We got our crankshaft and then we have eight upgraded pistons. From there, we can do all our rod caps to go along with those. I just went up a level to level 20. Everything's so nice and new in here. It's much nicer than it was before. Get our last rod cap. There we go, got an achievement. I saw many things. Okay, crankshaft bearing cap 
on it goes. Got two more. And there is the final. This, this engine flipped over and ready to build out the front. I guess we'll go with the front or the top and we'll figure it out. I uh, might as well throw our oil filter on. Now we can flip the thing over. Put on our performance heads. I did uh, ha I did upgrade the supercharger, the in supercharger intake and the throttle body. Didn't have a lot of uh, scrap upgrade points. So I just put it where I thought it would count most supercharger and intake stuff. Uh, we'll see what it does. It'll, it'll upgrade, it's all upgraded. So that's quite nice. Get our spark plugs in. From there, we can put on our cam gears. And then all these, uh, the camshafts and everything, that's all upgraded as well. we'll. Put on our exhaust manifold while we're over here. Look at that thing, looks so much better. It's gonna breathe much better than the stock manifold that we have. Those are actual headers. Gonna make things a lot nicer. Do our power steering pump. I've got a lot of stuff left over in my inventory that I haven't cleaned out. Uh, need to get to that. So you'll see a lot of spare parts in there. Then from here, we can put on this engine head. Performance as well. Performance anything I could buy, pretty much. On it goes. Both camshafts. And we'll do our spark plugs and the cam gears. And throw the header on there too, why not? Now we can put on our other timing belt. This will allow us to put on our timing cover. One, two, three, and four. We can do our intake manifold. Slightly upgraded. Let's go ahead and put on all the little pulleys and things. We are good there. Time to, let's throw on this head. I'm gonna save the supercharger. I always like yeah, kind of doing that towards the end. That's the uh, performance supercharger that looks so good. So nice and shiny. Now we can do our coils. Obviously all performance there. Then we can put on our coil cover. There it goes. We can do the same to the other side. Leave now we are ready for our supercharger and on it goes look at that thing so shiny looks so good we can do our throttle body on it goes we do our fuel rails as well there's one right there and one right over here and i believe we can do belts the supercharger belt let's pop back here there it goes on it goes and this time i shall not forget the belt tensioner and the other belt on and our idler roller a there i believe we have done it that is one mean looking massive modular v8 engine ready to go in that thing got our brand new slicks i'm just keeping the tire the wheel tire the way it is i really like the look of it with the black and the uh chrome Especially with a deep dish like that, it looks good. Let's move on to uh, replacing all our suspension parts here. Start with our knuckle here, throw that on. Oh, we probably want to do our cross member. That would be a good idea. And then the four rubber bushings, not going to forget. There is the fourth. Okay, back on to the other side here. Let's put on our shock assembly. Two fasteners there. And we can go with the uh, front axle knuckle cover there. Oh, we definitely want to put on our steering rack and our front sway bar on that goes. From there, we can at attach our sway bar link. Lower control arm here with rubber bushings inserted. And on that goes, we can go with our front wheel hub. Three little bolts there. I should say nuts, wheel hub cap, brake disc, went with the uh, carbon ceramic, we're gonna need it, and brake pads, and our brake caliper. On it goes, we can do our inner tie rod. After that, outer tie rod. And then from there, we are ready to mount 
our front. We want the uh, skinnier ones. There we go. On it goes. And that is that side done. On to the other side. We are ready for the rear. Let's go ahead. Oh, while we're here, let's just go and go ahead and throw in the fuel tank and our performance fuel pump. Now we're ready for the axle housing. We can start adding our bits here. Let's work from the inside out, shall we? Get that on there and our spring. Rear spring in and the spring cap. On it goes. Rubber bushing for this guy. Then our U-bolt U plate. U-bolt number one. On it goes. And number two. Oh, there we go. Sometimes a little tricky to get those guys. And the knuckle housing there. Do our wheel hub. And from there, we can insert our axle. Bolt that guy in brake disc, performance for the rear, brake pads, and brake caliper. Yeah, we're really gonna need good brakes for this thing. <laughs> Did we get everything? Looks like we got everything. We are ready for the rear tires, the big boys. And there it is, onto the other side. This looks so good. Those big old slicks on a Fox body. Just something about it. Let's uh, get our exhaust on here. At least get it started. We, I did have to get the catalytic converter. So we'll do the first pipe here. We did have a performance catalytic converter option though. So I went with that middle muffler and rear muffler and work from the back to the front on this one. Rear muffler, middle muffler, catalytic converter and the front exhaust pipe on it goes so good all shiny and new nice i believe we are ready to prep our engine bay let's go with uh air, air filter base here air filter performance of course gonna want that and then the little clips and there we can go ahead and add our radiator on it goes our coolant reservoir get a radiator fan housing with our fan Power steering reservoir. Get our battery put back in place. There it goes. And our fuse box. Get the base here and then get all the relays and fuses inserted. From there, we can put the top back on. And I think, oh, we're gonna want that. We're definitely gonna want our brake master cylinder. And I think that's it. We are ready for our engine. It's really starting to look like a car now. Let's get this engine in where it belongs. Install, that's the one. Look at that. Oh, it looks good in there with the red on the body. I don't know what color I'm gonna paint it yet. We haven't got there yet. We'll figure it out. This red is pretty nice though. While everything's easy to get to, let's go ahead and do our fluids. Start off with brake fluid, coolant, power steering fluid. And you know what I noticed when I was uh, pouring that power steering fluid, I see an ECU over there. We're definitely gonna wanna upgrade that. and. Lastly, we'll go with the engine oil. Sometimes it's easy to miss. Let's grab that right now and go find us a performance one. Stage three is 10 grand. Well, we're in it, in it to win it, so let's buy it. And pop it on in here. There it goes. Let's add our interior. We've got our seat and our steering wheel. That's really all there is to it. From here, we are ready to assemble the bodies. Let's start with that gas door right there, filler neck door. And we get our deck lid, our rear clamshell, which is a wing, rear bumper with the parachute, right tail light, left tail light. What else do we need? Anything else back here? Looks good. All right, rear window, kind of working our way from the rear to the front here. We get this little thing over the notch there or for the notch back for over the rear window. Do our right door and window along with our mirror on it goes. Here we go, front fender. And for the hood, uh, oh, we can't forget the windshield. That's important. For the hood, I'm going with the one with hood pins and a little bit different. 
I think it looks, yeah, that looks good on there like that. Our front bumper. And we had these headlight covers. There's one there, one there. And our little Mustang emblem. Gotta have that other fender. Front door. I did buy a license plate, but I'm not seeing where to mount it. Or it's not telling me that I need to mount it. On that goes, and I think that's everything there. This looks like a car. <laughs> it looks like a proper drag car. I dig it. Oh, I love these notch backs, especially when they've got tubs and slicks in them. Get our getting our alignment aligned, shall we say? There it is. Nailed it. <laughs> it looks really good. I'm just so partial to these fox bodies. Some people think they're ugly. Ah, you can have that opinion. I like them. Looks like I forgot a little antenna delete. And sitting here looking at it, it just hit me. I did not put in the transmission or any of that important stuff under there. Like a drive shaft. Kind of won't gonna want one of those. So let's go put those in. On goes the flywheel, the clutch plate, the pressure plate, the throw. Oh, yep. Working ahead of myself. <laughs> Getting too excited. Then we can do the throw up bearing. On it goes, and our performance tunable, because we're going to need it, gearbox. Along with the starter. Now we can install that drive shaft and connect everything together the way it should be. We have moved it to the dyno, and here's the, te here's the test to see if it's going to start. I have not tried to start it yet, so fingers crossed. Oh, it does start. It sounds beefy i know the car mechanic simulator engine sounds aren't the best but hey sounds good for cms v8 before we do that though i remembered we have a tunable ecu and i think the best yeah way to achieve is uh, yeah, adding and get these things as level as we can a okay, plus six is about the best i can do so here we are we're all tuned to that apply we're good to go moment of truth let's start the dyno so, okay, factory power is 1,423 uh, with uh, 1,284 pound-feet of torque. Let's give this thing a go and see what we get. It's climbing. The survey says 3,028 horsepower, 2,722 pound-feet of torque. With a drag rating of 999. Yeah, figured as much. Awesome. So I think that's a proper dragster, isn't it? Let's get it painted. We do have some liveries here. We've got the regular. And this is uh, clipping out this little piece of the tire there. The original was uh, 155 43 18s, but I tried to put in the 155 45 18s, but it would only go to 205, I believe it was. So a little bit of clipping there. Uh, maybe I did something wrong, Payne, if you're watching. Let me know. That'd be great to know. That's kind of cool. These stripes at the bottom, it would probably look really good with black. 18 different liveries. Uh, yeah, I really dig this kind of, it's a retro look, these three uh, stripes down here. Let's see what that looks like with the car being black. Oh yeah, that looks really good actually. I actually really like this deep gray metallic too. Looks so good. That's it, that's what I'm doing. I love it. So I've encountered a little bit of a problem. I brought the Mustang over to the quarter mile to run some test passes, and this thing is insane. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I think something to do with 3,000 horsepower. If I try to just to do it regular, you'll see what happens. It just does what Mustangs like to do. <laughs> now, I'm not hating on Mustangs. I've owned a few. I love them. But uh, I try to start this in second gear, too, and you'll see... I take off and try to ease into the gas, but then it, again, <laughs> it just takes off. So what I've found, the only way to get this thing to behave is to start off in third gear. And let's try that. Okay, so you hear a little bit of a spin, and I let off the gas a little bit. Oh, see what I mean? <laughs> Even in third gear. Let's try to get a good run out of this. Third gear. And off we go. You have to be real touchy on the gas. I have to use the controller for the throttle, so I'm not full throttling the thing. 
and we got past the finish line and we got a 9.1. I know we can get in the eights. You can see the tire marks. Now in real life, obviously you'd, you'd wheelie or something. You're not gonna be spinning slicks that much. Okay, let's shoot for the eights, start in third. Off we go. And we're building, we're already up to 150 miles an hour and we cross the line. You see what I mean? This thing is insane. And I did an alignment. There might be some people that point out, oh, you need to do an alignment. I did do that. I definitely did that. It's just so much horsepower. And I think we got a clean run there. 8.9. That's about as good. I mean, I'm driving right on the ragged edge. The thing wants to spin out the whole way down the track. But we're in the eights. I wonder if we go with like the biggest slicks we can possibly get. See if that does anything. Let's try that. I don't know how that's going to work because I think that's about as wide as we can possibly get. But let's try it. Let's just see what it does. That's one thing I wish the uh, drag racing DLC was more accurate. I'd also wish we could do bracket racing because at a 999 drag racing, I'm pretty much just going to be going up against the Hoonicorn and my own car pretty much but if we could have bracket racing where you can race a lower horsepower car and you know the car the, the lower horsepower car leaves before you and then you leave and then you try to you know match the time or you know win that way that would be so much fun and i wouldn't think it would be that hard to implement and i know slicks do break traction from time to time it does happen obviously but you know a high horsepower vehicle like this you definitely get you definitely get a, uh, wheelies out of it and it'd be cool if that was implemented in the drag racing. Let's pull these old ones off and put on these big ones. These are 315s. That's as wide as we can possibly go. It, it is definitely wide, noticeably wider. And we're putting them on and let's see. Oh, it still fits in there. Not by much. Oh man, look at that. Hardly any space. So yeah, that's definitely, definitely wider. Let's see if that helps. I'm going to start this thing in second gear and see how we do. There we go. Second gear on the brake and here we go. I still hear it squealing. Yep. Still does the same thing. Let's try the third gear trick. See if we get a better time. And off we go. It does seem like the squealing isn't as bad. And we almost lost it there at the very end. And we got a 9.1. Kind of the same around the same what we did last time see if we can get in the eights at all and that felt good cross the center line back past yeah it was 8.9 okay so yeah it's pretty much the same no matter how wide our slicks are wondering if we went with a crazy sidewall height like we can go up to 90. should we do it just for the heck of it see what it does let's try it i mean yeah at this point i'm just wasting money on slicks but i kind of want to see it and i want to see if it makes a difference at all here they are let's see how comically massive these are <laughs> oh look at that that is hilarious it might actually end up looking pretty good on that thing though it barely fits in the balancer <laughs> thing is massive all right moment of truth let's see how they look on the car i have a feeling it's gonna look pretty pretty funny oh yeah <laughs> that is hilarious uh it'll still work though looks like it'll still work and down she comes how's the rake when it sits on the ground and hey it's actually kind of cool looking if you ask me but yeah those are comically big hey if they work for uh top fuel maybe they'll work for this thing let's go give it a try i mean who would have thought 3000 horsepower would be hard to control right <laughs> it makes sense i'm looking down at the asphalt more than i'm looking at the track and a second let's see if that does anything you can hear it making all sorts of horrible noises back there. And 8.5, that is the fastest we've gone yet. So there's, this is actually working. Starting in fifth, see if this does anything. I've tried everything with all these different gear ratios and I still can't beat an 8.5. See what this does. And we get 9.5. So yeah, 8.5 was as best as we could get with the other setup. Let's see what we can do with top speed, which I'm super ecstatic about an eight second car, eight and a half second car. That's fantastic. Here we are out here trying to get some top speed runs and we're starting to lose it, starting to lose it. And off it goes. Here we go, try again, try to beat 259. 200, oh, 300, now I'm gonna hit the brakes. 
see if we can stop in time. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. And we were <laughs> 303 miles per hour. And it took quite a while to get there. This thing is just too squirrely. Look, doing donuts with slicks. Not supposed to do that. But with 300 ho or 3,000 horsepower, why not? Time to see what we can get for this old Mustang Fox body. Looks like right at about $100,000, 98,857, which gives us a profit of 66,149. We don't have much use for this car, so we're gonna go ahead and sell it. We do need to make some money. So now we're up at uh, $600,000. Guys, this one was a lot of fun. I did enjoy that one a lot. That was, that was a ton of fun. Probably the biggest horsepower I've ever made and a blast trying to keep it pointed in the right direction. Guys, if you made it this far, please consider giving the video a thumbs up. It definitely helps me out. And guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I truly, truly appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.